Welcome back to my channel. My name is Soriam, and today I am going to be showing you guys how I like to just wash and clean my brushes. And this is the deep clean version, not the spot cleaning version. So if you guys want to see how I do that, then let's get started. So the first thing I am going to be using is my Zote soap, which I get at Walmart for like 97 cents. Um, this stuff is literally amazing. And then I have this nifty little brush cleaner that I got from Real Techniques, I think, and I ordered it off of Amazon. It's just like a, a brush cleaning pad thing. So I'm starting off with one of my foundation brushes, which really, really get super gross. So I'm just soaking that under the running water, making sure it's completely wet. Once I have the brush completely soaked and um, it's ready to go, I'm going to grab my soap and I'm going to start to work my brush into the soap itself. And I like to like kind of push it in pretty hard, you know, with somewhat wet of a decent pressure because you want to get um, the soap to go into the bristles and into the brush, especially with these um, kind of kabuki brushes where they're so densely packed that you really have to kind of put a lot of pressure to get um, soap to actually go in and clean the brush. So I'm going to soak it um, with the water, I'm going to rub it into the soap, make sure it's nice and sudsy, you can see it kind of got everywhere, so um, just keep an eye out for that when you like putting pressure on it, it's going to kind of get everywhere. Then I'm going to grab my little hand mitt mat thing and I'm just going to start rubbing the brush in um, in the little texture and I just kind of scroll the whole thing. I like to just go in there again. I'm putting a ton of pressure on this because I need this brush to be clean um, and if you don't put pressure on it, it'll only clean like the outside bristles and not go in deep. Um, to the inside of the brush. So I'm just going to keep rinsing it, keep adding uh, soap, and I'm just going to keep doing this over and over again until I know that it's clean, until the water runs really clear. So once I get done making sure it's nice and washed, I go ahead and squeeze out all the liquid, all the water from the brush. And you can see it was still, like it still had some color in it. So I just put in a little bit more water and then just squeeze it. Um, with these kind of brushes, it's really hard to get them completely clean, so I thought that was just good enough. So then I'm moving on to my next brush, and this is one of my powder brushes. Um, this one isn't so densely packed, but it still collects a lot of um, pigment and color just because I use it on my face every single day. So I am just doing literally the exact same steps, and this is this really has been like the easiest way I've found to clean my brushes. And that little um, mitt thing that I got, it's um, like I mentioned before, it's from Re Real Techniques and I got it on Amazon. Um, this has really been a complete lifesaver. Like before, I would like swirl my brush in my hands, like in between my fingers and on my palm. And that just took forever because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't effective. So I really, really love that little pink texture thing to wash my brush and it has been working amazingly and surprisingly this was the first time I used it um, but it turned out really well and I really loved using it it was it was really quickly that I, I was able to get through washing uh, some of my brushes and like I said before this was so fast I got through washing my brushes in literally probably less than half the time that it would take me if I didn't have that little pink little brush washer thing so I'm gonna fast forward through um, these next few clips these are just um, different uh, brushes like face brushes that I like to wash and you can see how awesome and how easy it is to get these clean and um, without you know too much effort so I'm gonna fast forward through these and then I'll be back um, in a little bit
I like to do the exact same steps again even with my eyeshadow brushes so here I have four um, you can see that they're super dirty super gross like I use them all the time so again I am just gonna get them nice and wet make sure that they're completely soaked and then I'm gonna run them over the soap that was kind of out of the out of the frame because I didn't want to keep holding it because it was like getting all over the place and I don't want to waste it so um, I just rubbed it into the soap make sure it got um, pretty sudsy and then I ran it under a little bit more water and then I used that little pad to just scrub them back and forth until the bubbles were clean and I rinsed them out and it was so easy and simple and I always love to do you know a couple of brushes at a time when it comes to my eye brushes because they're so small so they all like fit in my hand which is awesome and I got through these pretty quickly as well because you know I could do a bunch of them at a time as opposed to my face brushes which I would do just one at a time so for the sake of the video, I only washed these brushes, which only took me like 15 minutes at the most. And I had my little iPad in the corner. I was just like watching my TV shows on Netflix. So that is how I like to wash my brushes. And this is like a deep clean um, when, you know, they're really, really gross. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.